begin today by acknowledging that Earthship Goolwa is built on the lands of the Naranjeri and Ramanjeri people, the traditional custodians. Um, I extend my respect to their elders past, present and emerging and that respect I feel the same for all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. My name's Amy and I am the proud owner of Earthship Goolwa. Uh, and happy to be sharing the Earthship for Sustainable House Day this year. I purchased a 900 metre square north facing block in Goolwa in 2020 and this shows the conversion from that land to now being filled with over 900 car tyres ready for pounding by a team of volunteers who started to build the Earthship in February 2021. This shows the cooling tubes coming through the back of the earth berm for the Earthship. These cooling tubes is essentially my free air conditioning. The earth berm which sits behind the tyre wall of the Earthship helps to regulate the temperature of the inside. We used lots of free clean fill to make this earth berm uh, and pound the tyres. It was certainly a challenging time but also a lot of fun. Here we see the tyre wall and the beginning of the thermal wrap to make sure that the house can be well insulated. There were many bucket chains to haul dirt to finish the 12 course tyre wall. At the top sits the bond beam created by recycled cans and concrete. This bond beam is then filled with concrete so that it can become a sturdy place for the roof trusses to sit. Due to a limestone shelf that was challenging to excavate and the chance to raise the house up to support in case of flooding, we chose to do a straw bale waffle pod as our foundations. A final pour of coloured concrete completed the slab. More tyres needed to be pounded to complete the stem wall of the earthship and then we could start the internal greenhouse wicking beds. These planter beds utilise grey water and are filled with high quality soil to ensure I have a year round internal garden. It was really exciting when the framing started and finally the earthship began to look like a house. Here you can see the roof, trusses, pitch and framing with the front north face perfect for solar panels. We utilise natural building techniques such as the creation of cob to not only infill against the tyre wall but also for a beautiful natural render. This process involves a lot of hard manual labour so it was really important and wonderful to have so many volunteers who could come and help. The east and west walls of the earthship are made with straw bale. It was always so exciting to see the earthship continue to transform and grow with each new step in place. The process of creating the beautiful and iconic Earthship bottle walls was certainly a labour of love. We got to celebrate with the amazing artist Naomi Campbell who was responsible for the designs and implementation of most of the bottle walls in Earthship Goolwa. Here we are cleaning off the final lime render to make those sunflowers come out and shine. I had a beautiful team of earthen renderers who created a wonderful finish coat on both the straw bale and tyre walls. The internal planter beds in the greenhouse of the earthship is certainly an extremely special feature. Utilising the grey water from the house, these wicking bags allow me to plant more tropical fruits such as bananas and have tomatoes all year round. Hi, I'm Martin Freeney from Earthship Eco Homes. I'm the designer of this beautiful building. Okay, so this is the first suburban Earthship in South Australia. Uh, and I'm standing in the greenhouse, which is a multifunctional corridor that joins up all the rooms in the building. Uh, we've got in here the indoor grey water garden where we turn grey water into bananas. There's actually a flowering banana down there at the moment. Uh, it's also, of course, the passive heating space in the building. And another important function of this space is that as the hot air rises out of these high level windows, it's actually drawing fresh, cool air in through the underground cooling tubes, uh, which bring fresh air into the building 24 seven. There are no fans, it all just works naturally. Like the hot air rising out of the windows in the greenhouse the air has to come into the building somewhere and the air actually comes in nice and slow on a 40 degree day. You can expect the air to come in here at about 20 degrees. So you can think of these cooling tubes as like free air conditioning with no moving parts. They'll just work forever.
So this is the tire wall. It's actually a retaining wall. There's uh, tons and tons of earth out the back here mounted up against the wall. And the idea of that is that instead of having air around the back of the building, we've got earth. And earth is at a very stable temperature, around 15 to 18 degrees. So that's a lot better than having 40 degree air or zero degree air. And this just leads to really stable, comfortable indoor air temperature. The outside of the Earthship is still a work in progress and we're enjoying learning a lot more about gardening. Here you can see the finished rendered earth berm which provides the constant temperature and thermal mass the Earthship needs. So these are my two 14,000 litre rainwater tanks that provide all of the water for my house. Uh, it's fantastic having uh, a big, big roof uh, over the Earthship. Um, for catching of rain. We have a 10.5 kilowatt system, 20 solar panels on the north facing uh, roof slope. So thank you very much for watching the video and showing an interest in Earthship Goa. Um, I hope you've learned something, maybe got some ideas or inspiration and I look forward to seeing those of you who might be joining in the tour on Sustainable House Day. All the best! Bye! Three, one. Yay. Yay. <laughs>